Ever wondered why you constantly put others' needs before your own, even at the expense of your own happiness and well-being? Well, this could be a sign of a behavioral pattern known as codependency. It's a term you might have heard before, but what does it really mean? Codependency is a dysfunctional relationship dynamic in which one person, often referred to as the giver, selflessly sacrifices their own needs and well-being to take care of another person, known as the taker. The giver is excessively focused on the taker's needs, often to their own detriment. They might struggle to maintain healthy boundaries and may find it challenging to function independently. This dynamic isn't just limited to romantic relationships, it can occur in friendships, familial relationships, and even professional settings. But how do you know if you're in a codependent relationship? If you've been feeling this way, you might be in a codependent relationship. Let's delve deeper into this. Codependency is characterized by an excessive focus on the other person's needs, a lack of healthy boundaries, and an inability to function independently. Now, let's delve into the key signs of codependency. First up is people-pleasing. This involves constantly putting others' needs and desires before your own, even at the expense of your own happiness and well-being. If you find yourself always trying to keep others happy, often to your own detriment, this could be a sign of codependency. Low self-esteem is another key sign. If you often feel inadequate or unworthy of love and attention, and seek validation through caretaking and self-sacrifice, you might be dealing with codependency. Difficulty setting boundaries is a common trait in codependent relationships. This can manifest as an inability to say no or assert your own needs. You may often find yourself feeling responsible for other people's feelings and problems. The fear of abandonment is another hallmark. Experiencing intense anxiety or distress at the thought of being alone or losing a relationship can be a sign of codependency. Controlling behavior can also indicate codependency. This involves attempting to control or manipulate others' behavior or emotions to feel secure in the relationship. Enabling destructive behaviors is another key sign. This could involve making excuses for or covering up the other person's harmful behaviors, such as addiction or abuse. Difficulty expressing emotions is often seen in codependent individuals. This can mean repressing your own feelings and needs to avoid conflict or to maintain the relationship. Lastly, neglecting self-care is a significant sign. If you're prioritizing others' needs to the point of neglecting your own physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being, you could be in a codependent relationship. All these signs might seem overwhelming, but it's crucial to recognize them. It's not about blaming yourself or feeling guilty, but about gaining awareness. This awareness is the first step towards breaking the cycle of codependency, moving towards healthier and more balanced relationships. Remember, these signs might seem overwhelming, but it's important to recognize them to break the cycle of codependency. Codependency doesn't just appear out of nowhere. There are several factors that can contribute to its development. Let's start with childhood experiences. The environment we grow up in plays a significant role in shaping our behaviors and relationship patterns. If you grew up in a family where emotions were suppressed, boundaries were blurred, or caretaking roles were reversed, you might find yourself falling into codependent patterns. You might have learned that taking care of others at the expense of your own needs is the norm, or that your worth is tied to how much you can do for others. Trauma and abuse can also lead to codependency. If you've experienced traumatic events or abusive relationships, you might develop a sense of worthlessness. This can drive you to seek validation through pleasing others and sacrificing yourself in the process. You might find it difficult to trust others or feel safe unless you have control over them, leading to codependent behaviors. Societal expectations are another significant factor. Our society often emphasizes self-sacrifice and caretaking, particularly for women. These cultural norms can reinforce codependent behaviors. You might feel pressured to put others' needs before your own, to be the giver in your relationships, and to suppress your own needs and desires. This pressure can lead to a lack of boundaries and an excessive focus on taking care of others, hallmarks of codependency. 
It's important to remember that these factors don't cause codependency in everyone. It's a complex issue with many contributing factors, and everyone's experience is unique. However, understanding these potential causes can help you make sense of your own behavior and patterns. Recognizing these causes and how they might have influenced your relationships can be a challenging process. It might bring up difficult emotions or memories, but it's a crucial part of healing. It's about understanding where your patterns come from so you can start to break them down and build healthier relationships. Understanding these causes can be the first step towards healing and recovery. Recognizing codependent patterns in your relationships is a brave and necessary step for change. When dealing with codependency, it's crucial to seek help. You don't have to navigate these choppy waters alone. And indeed, professional guidance can make the journey smoother and more effective. Therapy plays a key role in this healing process, providing a safe space for exploration and understanding. A skilled therapist can help you unearth the root causes of codependency, many of which often trace back to childhood experiences, trauma, or societal expectations. In therapy, you'll also learn to establish healthier boundaries, an essential part of breaking the cycle of codependency. This means learning to say no, asserting your needs, and not feeling responsible for others' feelings and problems. Improving self-esteem is another vital aspect of therapy. You're worthy of love and attention, and you don't need to seek validation through self-sacrifice. Therapy can also guide you towards more balanced relationships. Remember, it's never too late to seek help and start your journey towards healthier relationships. Codependency is a complex issue, but understanding it is a significant step towards improvement. We've explored the key signs of codependency, from people-pleasing and low self-esteem, to difficulty setting boundaries, and fear of abandonment. We've also highlighted the destructive behaviors that often accompany this dynamic, including control, enabling, repression of emotions, and neglect of self-care. We've delved into the causes that can lead to codependency, such as childhood experiences in dysfunctional families, trauma, abuse, and societal expectations that emphasize self-sacrifice. It's crucial to recognize these patterns in our relationships and understand that they aren't healthy. Remember, therapy can be a powerful tool in understanding the root causes of codependency, developing healthier boundaries, improving self-esteem, and building more balanced relationships. Remember, your needs and well-being are important too. Don't be afraid to seek help and break the cycle of codependency.